Hey guys, so I'm doing a bunch of videos about uh, the cues that I have, the you know, the brands of cues that I have, and I'm almost done. I'm getting well. I'm getting down to where it's going to be a bunch of singles now, and I haven't decided what I'm going to do with that. But um, I have a brand here, and this is Carmelli. This cue. Well, these are both Carmelli customs. This cue says, what, nine, 9 of 18? I think we've established my camera won't focus. I won this in, in a raffle by Tony Johan. Didn't really even remember entering the raffle. But this was my first custom cue, you know, ever in life. My first custom cue. And I got it, and I'm like, oh, this is absolutely pretty at sharp points. Look how long these points are, too. I mean, this is at least an inch longer than a lot of the other cues I have. And two inches longer than some of them. Um, I like the colors. I like, to me, this cue is just, it's a little bit too gaudy. I and mean, honestly, it's just a little bit too fancy for me. Um, part of it may be that, I don't know, I'm, I'm not thrilled with the shape. Maybe just regular diamonds would have been a little bit better. It's a little bit too busy down here, just for my taste. But I like the cue enough that I'm like, well, okay, I'm going to see if I can find another Carmelli, one that you know suits my taste a little bit more. And I want to say about a month later, maybe even less than a month, I, yeah, no, it was less than a month, I saw something on Facebook, another Carmelli for sale. And it looked much better to me, much more in my wheelhouse. And it was this one. And another Carmelli Custom, long points. I like the blues. I like the blues a lot. Um, I like just the, the single notch diamonds. Uh, it had a nylon or linen wrap. And I like the hoppy ring stuff too. Um, I got this cue and like the next day, I couldn't even, I couldn't even hold on to this cue. It was too slippery. Whatever, whatever in the hell wrap it had, it was it was ridiculous. Is what it was. You you had to do a slip stroke with this cue because you. I did not have the strength to grip it, you know. So like the next day, or at least the next Monday, I shipped it to Ariel and said, "Can you please fix the wrap or change the wrap?" And he's like, "Yeah, of course." And also, I had him. He had to do something to replace the bumper. So this cue will accept an extension. So I had him do that. I shipped it off. To, this was mid-February, something like that. And I didn't get this cue back for, hell, four or five months. When I did finally get it back, of course I hit some balls with it and such, but by that time I had won a Tim Scruggs, and that Tim Scruggs had immediately become my main cue. It unseated my PHR and it had become my main cue. So while I do really like this cue a lot and I, 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 mean, I didn't stink up the place with it, I never really gave it much of a chance because it never really had much of a chance. I knew that I knew that that scrub was going to be my main over this cue and at the, at the time over any other cue I had. So I got it, I hit some balls with it, made sure it worked tested the extension stuff, everything worked, and then I hung it on my wall, and that's what I did. So I, I have two Carmelis. They're both really nice. Uh, the other one is, I believe, a brand new cue when, you know, when I got it, and this one was used, but hell, in fantastic condition. Ariel did not refinish this cue. He just replaced the wrap and, and replaced the bumper. So all the finishes, it's flawless, and it's as it was as it was when I originally bought it. That's the video, nice and short.